sejeprat-jepret mengambil foto sendiri. Budaya selfie membuat setiap orang hidup layaknya seorang selebriti. The personal celebrity I think is definitely a relevant thing that's happening. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, um, it's all pointed at us. Tetapi seperti kaum selebritis, pengambil selfie akhirnya juga dituntut selalu menjaga penampilan. Because you're constantly, you know, there's a bunch of um, photos being taken of you, so you just have to look good all the time. I see a lot more people coming to my office. The answer to the question, what bothers you and why did you decide to come and see me? Surprisingly enough is, I saw a selfie of myself and I hated it and I have to fix it. Peduli penampilan memang bukan sesuatu yang baru, tetapi yang baru adalah di era jejaring sosial ini respon orang lain diberikan secara instan. Sehingga orang yang tadinya sudah tidak percaya diri bisa semakin tidak percaya diri di era selfie ini. Seorang psikolog bahkan mengatakan mengambil dan mengunggah selfie secara berlebihan bisa membuat ketagihan. Addiction blanks out everything else. You can't think when you're addicted, you live for your addiction. And the underlying problem, I think, with selfies, to the extent that they are a problem, is that they represent a kind of emptiness, a kind of need to be seen and heard and recognized and remembered. Nasihat psikolog ini, jangan menjadikan like di social media sebagai acuan kebahagiaan. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi, VOA.